Well, hi everybody, how are you? And this is Leslie from Leslie's Creative Studio and welcome to 2023. So, what am I, you're wondering what this is? Well, it's the start of a new journal. It is a um, Amazon package that I cut and turned inside out and glued together. And I'm going to be adding some stuff to it like, oh, how about this? <laughs> Isn't this really pretty? Oh, gorgeous. This is from Artie Mae's Spring Mist um, Digital Collection. And what I have done is I printed one of the pages out on cotton. Oh, I'm trying to grab it. This stuff is so awesome. So I printed one of the pages out on that and then I took some muslin and put it around. And what I'm going to go do right now is I'm going to go press this because, you know, it has to be pressed. And I was pressing this last night, very late, burned the heck out of my finger. Holy cow. <laughs> so there's bandages on that and some tape <laughs> just because it really hurt that bad. Whether the tape will make it feel better, I don't know, but that's okay. So I am going to go give this a quick press and I'll be back. All right, now that I have this all nice and pressed, I have a nice little um, think of the word, but just a nice little area here. So a clean, a clean hem or whatever you want to call it. I'm at a loss for words today, but I'm going to just run a quick stitch around that because I'm going to be attaching a pocket and um, the back to this and I also have this that needs to get attached and this also needs uh, some padding on it so let me get that stuff set up and I'll be right back okay I've got some prep work done <laughs> and I forgot to turn the camera on so let me take you through where I am it off layer by layer. Alright, I hemmed the sides so that they would be nice and um, straight. I also marked out at the half inch mark from the seam. Yep. I marked out a half inch all the way around um, for the seam. I'm going to turn it this way, and I know when I look at it, I can see here that this is the top because I can see that my butterflies are all facing that way. I cut a piece of um, padding. It's on here. And I cut it to fit just inside the inside hem. Then I took my um, Amazon packaging that I cut, flipped it around, and glued it together so that the great big Amazon check mark is on the inside and not the out. That's going to add a little bit of body. I don't want to say stiffness because that's not really. It's not really stiff or bendable. This is my backing. Now this is a piece of um, linen or muslin that I cut down and then I took another piece here this was another piece from the um, from the spring mist kit 
And again, I printed this out on fabric and just cut a piece off. This is the same thing. I uh, printed that off. And I'm just going to lay this. Oh, well, I cut it off and put it on here so it's on, and then so it's on here really nice. Pressed it really good so I have a nice clean. Of course, I messed this up. I know things don't always have to be perfect, but for me, I like it as close to how I imagined it. Let's put this on here first. Sort of center it on that. Now that I have all my layers, I'm going to come through. I'm going to take this edge and pull it up and sew it all the way around. And I'm going to attempt, <laughs> I'm going to attempt to miter my corners as well. What I may do is just tack those down. Because, let's see if I pull this over. I really want a nice tight corner on all of on all my corners. You can see. I'm going to bring you in so I can show you here's what I'm going to do to get a nice tight miter I could cut this off realistically but I'm not going to because it's going to add some strength to it. So I'm going to pull this all the way up to where I feel this part right here. Packaging. Pull that up. I'm just going to fold. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Now if I have to, I may have to cut part of that point off. In a perfect world, this would all be one piece. <laughs> you wouldn't have this right here. But I'm more concerned with how this is going to look here. I'm actually going to have metal corners on that. So I did it a little bit looser. Oh, that's better. Just brought it there. Come up. That can come up. Well, I'm going to play with it a little bit to see where <laughs> it fits best and how it fits best. And I've moved this off center now. All right, I am going to go ahead and get this all sewn up. And I'm not going to sew down the middle here for my pockets because, yes, when this comes up, it's going to seal my pockets. You know, I'll sew here and it'll catch my pockets. 
but when I stitch in my signatures and it's going to be a hand stitch, then, um, then that will separate the pockets. All right, so let me go ahead and sew this up. Then we'll take a peek. All right, I will be right back. Okay, this is all nice and sewn. Doesn't it look gorgeous? I think it's adorable. Let me back out a little bit. A little too far. Hold on. <laughs> Can you tell it's been a while? <laughs> okay. Miss Gracious. Okay, that'll do. So here is the journal cover and it will go like it is all ready. For the signatures to get sewn in here and the thing that I love is that once I get it all sewn and everything it'll have some nice fringes on it and I've got some cute things planned so the next video will be sewing the, um, sewing the signatures in and I'll show you how I do that it's just a three hole pamphlet stitch Actually, pretty simple but if you want to see here looks nice nice little pocket so when I go to sew in my signature it'll make these two pockets separate kind of like um, one of the um, that I already have done these will go up for sale in the Etsy store at the same time Let's see how it's the same thing. The lace is different, but the colors are all basically the same. So that is a quick way, a quick version of how I made my journal cover for my spring mist, um, springtime journal. I'm so excited to be doing springtime because it's winter here. And I'm really excited about doing some fun springtime things. So see you on the next video. Have a great day, everybody. Be nice. It's not that difficult. Bye, everybody.